I am back with another Iron Gear pickup comparison video. This time I'm comparing the overwound rolling mill bridge position humbucker with a blues engine. They're both described as PAF style pickups, so what's the difference? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Alexi, welcome to Alexis Guitars, a channel all about guitar gear reviews, demos and comparisons. This is the second time round I'm recording this intro section and uploading this video onto YouTube because there was actually a big mistake in the first video I uploaded. I'm genuinely really sorry about that, so let's get on with today's review with the right information. This is the second Iron Gear shootout on my channel. First time round, I compared the Blues engines with the Hot Slag, two very different sounding pickups. I'll leave a link to that video somewhere on the screen or in the description box below. The Blues engine left a great impression on me. Fantastic clarity in their cleans, great crunch tones, I actually can't wait to get this pickup installed in a future guitar. And prior to doing the shootout video, I was not at all familiar with the overwound rolling mill bridge position. That's why I was really keen to do this video to see how it compares to the Blues engine and also where it fits in best musically. According to the Iron Gear website, these are both PAF style pickups, with the Blues engine being a vintage PAF style and the overwound rolling mill a more modern PAF style pickup. I actually went over the website's information about the Blues Engine in my last video, but in case you haven't seen it, here's a little recap. So the website says the Blues Engine has an Alnico 4 magnet and measures 8.6k ohms in a bridge. It's noted for its clarity, its warmth, superb musicality, and also great for producing rock or blues tones, which I completely agree with. On the other hand, the overwound rolling mill has an Alnico 5 magnet and is quite a bit hotter measuring at 13k ohms in a bridge. In comparison, the standard rolling mill measures only 9k ohms in a bridge. So Iron Gear say this is their workhorse, no-nonsense, classic rock pickup. It's also noted for its clarity, as well as its warm mid-range and tight bottom end. And apparently it produces tones reminiscent of Paul Kossoff or Jimmy Page. Now as a huge Paul Kossoff fan myself, this pickup is sounding perfect on paper. Check the description box below for links to Iron Gear's website where you can find out more about these pickups. Like last time, there are four parts to the sound comparison, and I'm going to give you my thoughts after each one, and also my overall thoughts at the end. First I'll be playing clean, second is that edge of breakup tone, third crunch, and fourth will be high again. And just to be clear, I used the same guitar, I used the same amp and pedal settings for the sound tests, I also used a fresh pair of Harley Benton value strings for each pickup. Now if you're unaware or unfamiliar with Harley Benton value strings, check out the video I did on them up here. Each sound test is using the awesome Orange Terror stamp, and this is going into the two notes cab M, simulating an orange 2x12 cab with no post EQ. I'll also show you the amp and pedal settings if I use pedals before each sound test. For the remainder of this video, I refer to the overwound rolling mill pickup as just for rolling mill. Please bear that in mind in case you like what you hear and want to get yourself some from the website. This is the overwound rolling mill bridge position. All right, onto the sound test. Okay, that was the clean setting. Now listening back with headphones, I didn't hear a huge difference between the two pickups. To my ear, the Blues Engine was a bit chimier, which added some clarity to it. And I think that was most evident in that last clip where I attempted to play something funky and I was digging in quite hard. 
If you tend to play with a clean tone, I don't think you can go wrong with either one, but I do think the blues engine has the advantage. All right, on to the next test. Okay, so with the edge of breakup tone, I could hear more of a difference between the two than in the clean test. But I don't have a favorite, they just sound different. The blues engine to my ear did sound a little bit more open, a bit brighter, which I like. The rolling mill was a little bit more restrained in its tone, but I don't see that as a negative thing. I actually really like how it sounds. It was just less open than the blues engine. In this setting, I'm torn between the two. If I had to make a decision, I probably would go with the blues engine, just because that bit of chime does go a long way. All right, on to the next sound test. Okay, so for me, the differences between the two pickups definitely start to become more obvious as the gain increases. The blues engine to my ear was a bit brighter, however, that did verge on sounding a bit fizzy at times. Here, I think the more contained sound of the rolling mill played to its advantage, and I did prefer the sound of the rolling mill in this crunch setting. So I would go for the rolling mill for that crunch tone, however, it really does depend on your style of playing. Okay, on to the final sound test. Thank you. 
Alright, in the higher gain test, I really think the rolling mill sounded better. Now it's important to remember that neither of these pickups are designed or intended for higher gain or metal tones, however, the rolling mill did live up to its reputation of being that workhorse pickup that will just handle whatever it's given. Whereas in my opinion, the blues engine just sounded overwhelmed by that level of gain and was just far too fizzy. Again, the blues engine isn't intended for high gain or metal, so it's not really a criticism, but for the sound test, the rolling mill sounded better. So which one did you like the most and in which setting? Let me know in the comments below. So my overall thoughts on these two vintage output pickups is that they both do exactly what they're intended to do really well. To me, the rolling mill sounded good across all of the sound tests. So if you're after a pickup that can do it all well enough, say for example, you're in a covers band and you need to cover a variety of sounds, then the rolling mill might be the one to go for. But just because it can do it all, doesn't mean it sounded best in all of the sound clips. I personally really like the rolling mill for the crunch and for higher gain classic rock sounds. A crunch or higher gain setting is normally what I use, and I tend to clean up just by rolling back the volume knob of my guitar. And the rolling mill does clean up quite nicely as the sound test showed. The rolling mill did sound good in the clean and the edge of breakup tone, just not as good as the blues engine. The Blues Engine sounded great across the first three sound clips and was my preferred pickup for the clean and edge of breakup tones. So if you only venture into high gain territory for a solo or lead boosts and not for rhythm, then I would go for the Blues Engine because it sounded awesome up to and including the crunch setting and in the higher gain sound test it sounded good when I was playing that bluesy lead lick, just didn't sound as good for rhythm stuff. So if you haven't already seen my previous Iron Gear comparison video, make sure you do. I'll leave a link for it either on the screen or in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoy content like this, please do hit that subscribe button. And if you like, click the bell so you don't miss anything from me in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I really hope that you found this video helpful. That's all for me today. Till next time.